this is Raina. Thank you for joining me on my crochet channel. In this tutorial, I will show you how to crochet the Suzette market bag. And so why do I call it Suzette is because of the stitch. Um, it is Suzette stitch and it is uh, it works uh, one single crochet and double crochet in each uh, stitch. Um, and I have modified the stitch a little bit. I crochet a chain between uh, each uh, single double crochet part. And so my bag, it measures about 12 and a half inches wide and then about 13 inches. Uh, long and I would say it's uh, quite easy suitable project for beginners and uh, let's first see what type of yarn I'm using for the back and I'm using this uh, wonderful cotton yarn from Lion Brand it is a recycled cotton so um, it's great to be environment conscious while doing our crafts. Um, it has 90 meters, 98 yards in one skein. And so I need four skeins. If you're using any other cotton yarn, then um, just uh, look how many meters or yards it has in it to, uh, to see how much yarn you need. So with the, this amount, you need four. It is medium size four and the crochet hook recommended 5.5 millimeters. Uh, this color is called bubble gum. They have some solid colors as well if you prefer. And uh, I am using crochet hook size uh, five millimeters for my back. And let's get started. And we start with magic ring. So take the yarn, yarn tail here, put it across your fingers and then wrap around index finger and make a cross. Then insert your hook underneath the strand here and pull that one through from underneath. Now you have the ring, you can take finger out, uh, make the first stitch, and now we need to single crochet eight times into the rings. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Then pull the ring tight, take the yarn tail and pull it quite tight. And then we can finish the first round with a slip stitch into the first single crochet we did. Uh, round two, first chain one, and then single crochet twice in each stitch so one and two in that first one one and two in the next and so you'll have 16 on the second round and again slip stitch in the first stitch finish round two round three chain and now we're going to increase in every other stitch so I'm going to make two single crochet stitches in the first, that same stitch, and one in the next. Again, two in the next, and one in the next. And this way you'll have 24 stitches on round three. And finish with a slip stitch in the first single crochet. Round four, chain one. We're going to increase in every third stitch. 
in the first I'm going to make two one two and then single crochet one in each next two so one in here one in the next and then two in the next one two again one one and then two and you'll have 32 on round four and I already slip stitched in the first single crochet round four round five chain one we're going to increase in every fourth stitch to have total of 40 single crochets so I'm again I'm going to do two in the first and then one in the next one in the next and one in the next so three and then two in the next so increase in every fourth again one two three and then two in the fourth and repeat next round six we increase in every fifth stitch to have total of 48 single crochets so chain make two stitches in the first then uh, four single one two three four and then again two increase in the fifth and repeat round seven increase in every six stitch to have total of 56 stitches around so in the first one two and then five one two three four five and then two in the sixth stitch and round eight we will just single crochet one in each no increases one two so 56 single crochet stitches And now around nine, chain one, we increase in every seventh stitch to have total of 64. So make two in the first, one, two, and then six, one, two, three, four, five, six, and increase in the seventh, make two here and repeat. And round 10 again single crochet one in each chain and single crochet no increases so 64 also on this round next uh, round 11 we're going to increase in every eighth stitch to have a total of 72 so chain make two stitches in the first and then seven one two three four five six seven and then two in the next it's the eighth and round 12 just single crochet one in each stitch without increasing again 72 uh, round 13 we're going to increase in every ninth stitch to have total of 80 two stitches in the first and then make eight one two three four five six seven eight and in the ninth make two and repeat and round 14 again one in each stitch without increases uh, 80 stitches total round uh, 15 increase in every tenth 
to have a total of 88. Okay, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and now 2 in the 10th. And then do the round 16, one in each stitch without increasing. Round 17, increase in every 11th to have total of 96. So two in the first and then 10. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, and two in the eleventh, and then uh, make the next round eighteen, just uh, one single crochet in each, no increasing. Round uh, nineteen, we increase in each uh, twelfth stitch to uh, get total of one hundred and four. So first stitch we make two and then eleven one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven and now two in the twelfth. And round 20 again just a single crochet one in each without increasing it's starting to uh, look like a bowl now so a few more rounds of the base uh, so next is uh, 21 increase in each uh, 13th stitch you have then total of 112 so two in the first stitch and then do 12 two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve and in the thirteenth we make two and next round 22 again single crochet without increasing and the last round to increase uh, 23 we increase in each 14th stitch and we'll have total of 120 so again two stitches in the first and then to 13, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, and in the 14th make 2, 1 and 2. And then the last round of the base, 24, just single crochet, one in each, without increasing. And then we're going to have this nice and sturdy base for the back. And so this is the base and we are now ready to start with a pattern to build up the back. And uh, we start with uh, one chain and single crochet in that same space. And now I need to um, add my stitch marker. So I'm going to insert it into the same single crochet stitch so that I know this is where my round starts. Because we're going to work in continuous rounds. Um, without uh, specific ending or beginning you'll see 
and next we need to now double crochet into that same space as the single crochet then chain one and skip two stitches one two and single crochet into the next and that's how the pattern uh, repeats a single crochet and double crochet in the same stitch chain one skip two and repeat single crochet double crochet in the same stitch chain one skip two single crochet double chain one skip two so now repeat this all around when you get to the back to the beginning you'll see we'll do this together you'll see how it works and i finished my first round i have uh, two stitches here left that i will skip and now starting the second round go straight to that next double crochet not the single but double and start from here to your single crochet and double crochet then chain one and go to the next double crochet skip single in here to the next single and double chain one next double crochet to your single and double chain and repeat you have an option to move the uh, stitch marker up each round to the next uh, single crochet um, you don't have to as long as you keep it here you'll see here's my one of my finished bags you'll see how to trace it from the bottom all the way to the top but it's up to you if you're used to uh, moving it to the next round and now uh, repeat this pattern go round and round and round no beginning beginning or end just spirals and do um, 26 rounds and then we'll meet back here and i finished uh, 26 rounds of the pattern here's the start and i have uh, used almost uh, three skeins so far i have a little bit left here so i'm going to make two more rounds uh, because i have one full skein left uh, and it's more than enough for the um, upper part and handles the edge and the handles so let's make then total of 28 um, if you'd like you can add some more rounds to make a bigger bag and then we'll do the edge together and here I finished 28 rounds now and uh, next we're going to do the edge So here I did my last single crochet, double crochet and chain and for the edge we just need to single crochet in each stitch. So first I'm going to go to that next double crochet as before and make a single crochet and now I will put the stitch marker in it so I will know where my round starts. These are also going to be continuous rounds, spirals. And now single crochet in a chain space, next in a single crochet, then in double crochet, and then chain, and so forth. So single crochet, one in each, and we can do the 
end and beginning once you get to, to uh, the end here we can do this together for this next round and when you count the stitches and you get to the last uh, uh, chain space here uh, you see you have 119 so I'm gonna make another single crochet in that same space because I want 120 even numbered uh, uh, stitches and so here this is my first stitch I'm just going to go and single crochet in it and then move stitch marker also in it and this new one and then just continue around and make one single crochet in each stitch when you get to the end just no big no ending or beginning here just continue and move the stitch marker up to the new stitch and now make uh, five rounds like this and then we can do the handles I did five rounds uh, for the edge and now I'm going to start a new round uh, single crochet in the first stitch and move my stitch marker in it and now I'm going to single crochet uh, 20 so including this first one so one two three four and um, I try to make that last one uh, quite tight because that's where the handle starts and so if we pull the handle we want this to be not too stretchy and now for the handle we're going to chain 80 one two three four five six and now just um, need to make sure this long chain is not gonna curl I can lay it flat here and now I need to count 26 uh, stitches here from the chain to skip 26 and then insert hook into the next to continue and I skip 26 here that's my next stitch I'm going to now insert and again try and make that first stitch quite tight because it's going to be the handle corner and now including this first one uh, crochet single crochet 34 so one two three four make a total of 34 and after 34 stitches here again make that last one tight and chain 80 for the second handle two three four and now again count 26 from here to the stitches that we need to skip and here is my stitch after 26 make the first one uh, pull it tighter so now we have 14 stitches left to do because we started with 20 and we need total of 34 in this part so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and I did 14 here and now next stitch is where my new round starts stitch number one and move stitch marker in it now single crochet all the way to the handle chain first and now I'm going to single crochet also in each of the chains so if you want to check your counting you should have 80 stitches here And 
end uh, I did all the chains here I'm back to the uh, stitches and so here with the first one you have an option we're just going to single crochet one in each you can do it in a regular way but you can also do um, I found that it's um, going to be stronger that um, corner part here if you insert your hook underneath the first stitch in the space here and then the rest of the stitches do as normal so you can do this if you'd like see it looks a little bit tighter this way in this corner it looks uh, good as a, as a regular stitch so that's up to you and now keep um, single crocheting one in each uh, when you get to the um, beginning of the round you can again move your uh, stitch marker and then on the next round it's going to be easier just uh, just single crochet one in each stitch all around the handles and the back and um, so this was the first round make three more so we have total of four rounds with including the handles and I finished my last round uh, so I have total of 10 rounds here for the edge here's my last stitch here's the first and I'm just going to slip stitch in the first and now cut off and fasten off So I just have this tiny bit of yarn left. So, so all four skeins worked out well. Here is my finished uh, market bag. I hope you have fun making your own bag. Let me know if you have any questions. Uh, thank you so much for watching and happy crocheting.